Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to take things in a different direction. Uh, I have been doing wig reviews for quite some time and I will continue to do wig reviews because I will always have a love for wigs. Today I'm going to be doing a crocheted style. This is a nice change of pace and as a protective style for my hair. As you can see my hair is corn road and ready to go and I want to give a shout out to Brilliance Salon in San Bernardino. It is a full service salon. Uh, they specialize in hair, nails, lashes, and glasses. The staff is absolutely wonderful and I want to give a shout out to my braid technician TT. Hey girl, hey girl. Uh, everyone there makes you feel so welcome and these are artists, they're professionals it, and they just really ensure that you have a beautiful experience. So if you're in the San Bernardino, California area and you're interested in uh, protective styles, braiding, locks and the like, look them up. They are amazing and I'll have the information in the description box several places you can go to find uh, crochet or hair for crocheting. Of course your beauty supply store. Uh, I'm kind of away from a lot of the uh, beauty supply stores that specialize in black hair care. So I really depend a lot on online shopping. One of my favorite sources is Amazon, believe it or not. There are some really lovely uh, types of hair. Uh, and I'm lo looking specifically at faux locks, uh, butterfly locks, goddess locks, just beautiful, beautiful selections of products, different lengths, different colors. Uh, I greatly recommend Amazon for just about anything, but I was really pleasantly surprised to see the styles that they had. And there was one particular style that we're going to be working with today. So let me get show you a screen grab of this hair. So I'll put the name of the store down here and of course I'll have that in the description box also. But it came to me in six bundles. And they also provide you with the crochet hook that you're going to need. Now this guy, very quickly just let me show you. It is a small unit, nice handle here. And I have like a thousand of these because every time I buy hair it seems that they're very generous and they give you one. But the uh, bottom will come out like this. And of course it'll close right back because each one of these pieces of hair is looped and I can show you that closer I hope you can see that see how it's looped and that's where you're going to grab it with the instrument pull it through your hair and then uh, pull it through the loop so that it's securely locked onto your braid so I'll demonstrate that in just a little while I received the pack of six as 12 each I believe so I believe that's 72. Uh, six is supposed to do a full head but you can of course buy it with the seven so that you have that extra. Now I didn't see that totally my fault when I ordered the six I, I thought because you know me I'm paranoid so I said, okay, I'm going to need some more of this. Well, I had already bought it and I didn't want to spend, and it was only like $19, you know, very affordable. But I didn't want to buy that just for one or two more loops. So what I did was I went into my stash and found something as comparable as I could. So let me show you what I'm going to use to... Um, fill in and make it a little bit fuller if I need to. This is uh, from M&M's, uh, the Hair Plus Trading Company, um, and these are their Ocean Locks. 
And let me just show you on the back. And you can tell this is longer than what I originally had. These come with the locks. Aren't those beautiful? With the same kind of curly edges, but it also comes with Just the beautiful strands of curly hair. I figure if there are any places I'm going to miss where I just need a little bit more fullness, I'm going to go ahead and supplement it with this and just cut. So very quickly, um, just showing you, I'm going to take the instrument here and I'm going to go into one of these braids just to do a demo. So I'm going to pull it in to this braid. And we're going to open, use that little opening and open it up. I'm going to take this looped piece here, and you can see it has the opening here. And put it into the crochet hook. And then I'm going to close it and bring it through. I'm going to open it and release it. Now my finger is in that loop here. I'm going to take this hair and bring it through this loop. And because I am an, a very paranoid person, I'm going to go through one more time. And then gently put it on here as firmly as I can. And that is one piece. Depending on the style you're doing uh, and your level of expertise, usually it, it'll take me a complete novice now, a complete novice, uh, two to four hours. And again, depends on the style, depends on what I'm going for child I'm, I'm just get you a nice little snack tray get you a nice drink get you something on netflix and just be ready to be in for the long haul now if that demonstration was not sufficient for you don't feel bad please don't feel bad there are tons of great videos on youtube where sisters will take you through it step by step and trust me once you get it down you'll be doing so I've just completed two rows in the back and now I think I'm gonna get started on some of the supplemental hair in here and then of course when we're finished we'll just cut this down to the same length as this but I'm so glad I have this so I'm gonna use this more in the middle so now we're about halfway finished and about two and a half packs left of the one that I purchased so it's kind of like nail biting. <laughs> Will she make it? <laughs> so guys, this is the finished look. Not exactly the way it was for the model. I had to make a few modifications for myself. One of the things I felt during the process I really wanted was a little more fullness. So I took more of the M&M crochet locks than I wanted to. I did not use the straight... Uh, portions of it uh, because they weren't pre-looped and they would have been so much more difficult to get through my hair and I would have had all this scraggly stuff going I, I didn't want to be bothered with it. it was just too much drama for me so I just stayed with their the lock portion with the ends and just trimmed those as I went so I was able to get a little more fullness um, that I really wanted. And the locks have these two textures. So you have those original locks that I worked with. And then you have, where is this guy? Here he is. The M&M locks. So it gives a very interesting texture to the finished product.
I went on ahead and did a co-wash on them and I'm going to do another video on how I care for my locks but uh, the co-wash I think was the best thing because it just kind of loosened up everything and was able to give my hair or it took away that stiffness and just made it fall and feel more like normal regular hair so I am really pleased with the result and then we just added a few little accoutrements in here just to add a little sparkle to it And I am just so very pleased. Guys, thank you so much for taking this little journey with me. And please let me know in the comments how you like the uh, faux locks or if you're interested in them. Again, go to YouTube. You can find a thousand and three videos on a thousand and three crocheted styles because sisters be doing it. They be doing it. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the little time you spent with me today. Guys, take care. Stay blessed. And if you decide to go into crocheted hair, have fun, guys.